environmentally, by restoring this ecosystem to what is much more of a natural state, obviously it'll improve water quality and prevent the erosion and, and, and sediment degradation that's occurred over the past decades as a consequence of high flows. But it also means that we have a natural meandering stream system with a continuous flow regime uh, and, and levels that are fairly well controlled. And the, the plantings we did as part of this project will create a, a good wildlife habitat uh, for uh, the deer that are in this area, the, the fox. Um, we've seen a, a more uh, uh, hawks and others in this area because now it's a, a food source. Uh, so there'll be wildlife and there'll be a trail that'll encircle, encircle this, built in part with GOKO money that'll make it sort of a recreational amenity too. And as a result of this project and a, a greater awareness of Fountain Creek through Southern Delivery System efforts, uh, there's, there's greater attention to Fountain Creek and rec uh, recognition that Fountain Creek can be a great asset for the entire region. And the way the, the bank flow is designed is during a flood event, now instead of having high velocity water on this west bank, will actually be able to overflow into these wetland areas, um, which after the water overflows there, it disperses, reduces the energy, and then will fill those pond depressions, um, which is actually beneficial for our habitat, for our wetlands. Fountain Creek is an amenity that requires careful stewardship. Uh, never before have all the communities uh, along Fountain Creek been so motivated to care for this creek to the benefit of the environment and, and the folks that live along the creek. So today we're here uh, to celebrate this project that we have in front of us. It's the uh, Fountain Creek Improvement Project that is a direct result of the mitigation efforts of the Southern Delivery Project. The, the benefit this project has for the Fountain Creek Watershed is that we have basically created a system on the waterway that allows sedimentation to be deposited here and create a wetlands environment so that wildlife, uh, wetlands plants, native grasses, native um, cottonwood poles and willows can grow in an environment that was created for their specific benefit.